in this whole part doesn't will not come out. God damn it. Uh, yeah, I guess we're going to the heating part of the show. Okay, cool. Let's take another looking at the blob of death and <laughs> the coolness of it. So you can definitely trace the leakage uh, in the mate between the throat and the hot end. The, they leak it here. So when I was measuring, why, why is uh, this shit is under extruding? Is under extruding? Why? Because it was putting plastic in where it shouldn't be, right here. Then the leakage. Has passes uh, over the heat shield, this, this guy here, PTFU heat shield, then it goes to here, and when it drip, it drip it, then I notice what was happening. It, uh, it, I was printing a purg line, and I was waiting the, the mass of it, so I can open a ticket and mark it for saying, look, my purg line is too small, what's happening? Well, it's happening that the plastic was going where it shouldn't be. Okay. Uh, there are two solvents there that work, good, work well in, in polyam polyamide. The Onyx is polyamide 6 or 12 or a blend, probably a blend mm -hmm. with carbon fiber, but uh, solvent that works well is the f is the uh, a mix of formic acid and chloromethane. If you check on SpaceNet, there's a patent, some guys patent a uh, polish procedure that you, you immerse the the part, the printed part, in, in a mixture of those two solvents uh, for a few seconds and then they polish the surface. I could use those solvents and try to remove this guy without hitting it. I'm afraid to damage some cables. Of course they, they are they are made to to stand the heat. Even with the heat shield right here, all the heat from from the heat block will uh, we will hit the wires too. Definitely will. Then I could, I could use a blow torch to 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 hit this plastic and try to pull it out, or use some solvent. It is easier, of course, a lot easier. I could try. Oh, right. Let's let's think something. I could try to add some current to the. How do we call this? Package cartridge. Cartridge. Yeah, the heating cartridge. I could add some power to them, just shorting here, and make them heat like crazy for a few seconds. Without the controller, there's a risk, and I'll show you that you should do it, but you could do it. And, and hit the block as if it was hitting by the printer. Yeah, that's an option. Unfortunately, I cannot uns unscrew it. Yeah. yeah, I can't do that either. There's nothing else that I could unscrew here. God damn it. The weird, weird part is that this onyx is so stiff. It's not stiffer than the parts that the printer made. <laughs> so guys, that's, uh, that's it. Last look. You can take a look at the threads. There's absolutely no plastic in the threads. Uh, the lighting is not that well, but... Uh, 
And somewhere up where I what could have happened. Some something bended it and opened a gap. It uh, under extruder I thought it was it was an, a, a problem with the extruder. I was wrong, it was not. The extruder was doing its work and it's pushing it the plastic here. How could I have prevented this? When it was under extruding, how can I look and see it? I can look and see it because there's this fucking part here that blocks everything else. You cannot look at the throat of your printer. If it's beginning to uh, to create a blob of death, it will be too late for you to to see it. You will see it just when it gets to this level of blobbiness. If I can say that. That's it, folks. So, uh, by the by, the, the, the toughness, the, the rigidity of this this assembly, it's also interesting to look at. If, if for some reason your print head strikes the bed, and I think I did some some time in the middle of this this whole mess with the with the fiber. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting topic too. Let me let me tell you a story. Since I wasn't able to torque to spec the nozzle here in the in the print head, I wasn't able to reach the torque. I end up printing it without the torque spec. And what happens is that the pressure in the back side of the nozzle, since the nozzle doesn't mate with the throat, there is a gap in here, so pressure reaches this face here. If the throat mate mated with this uh, nozzle then there wasn't no pressure over here but that's not how much for design it they designed differently so there is pressure in this part and if you didn't torque it right the pressure will pull the nozzle backward back, downward and the helical part of the thread will uh, make it lower it and I think that happens to me too it lower the nozzle and in one of my try, try and error, errors trying to find what was going on, it, it hit, it hit, it strike at the bed, and probably twisted this hit the hot end, twisted the hot end. Oh, definitely did. Let, let me think about it. The printer is like that, and it moves uh, when it goes to make the pull line. It goes like that. So if the nozzle is here and it hit it. The, the bed will twist this hot end to the side and that's what happens and it opens a really small gap in the throat and the rest, well the rest is here damn it, ok this movie, this, this, this movie is starting to get too long thank you, you all for watching hope you won't uh, have the same problem I had and if you have to disassemble this because you stripped the the thread here uh, and, and want to retap it it's, maybe this this move is for you and this assembly with, with less fear of, of messing something up um, and saved the head because it's a very expensive part if I had to change something how oh, a small part that could be uh, replaced. There's nothing here I can replace. I have to replace the whole head. No, no, not because Mark Forge just sells the whole head, but because the blob of that uh, glue everything together. There is nothing else to be saved here. And so that's a, a really... How can I say that? Fail mode. That's a, a, a really nasty fail mode of this printer. Because the blob of that uh, kills this this whole table of parts. They they are just fine. This is fine. This is perfectly fine. Those fans are fine. But they are now they are trash. You cannot use it because this thing here is damaged. Well, maybe Mark Fosch could sell this in you know, other whole print head. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah if you think so, just that part. Uh, uh, and the uh, damn washer, of course, then will be a lot cheaper to replace it. For those who want to uh, disassemble, and, and uh, I, I am no problem with that. So that's it, guys. Thank you. And let's order a new print head from Arcforge so we can keep printing with this awesome equipment. Yeah, yeah. In the end, it is one of the best printers there is in the market, and the only one they can make a really stiff and resistant parts out of carbon fiber glass or adamant fibers and that's that's awesome thanks again bye bye